welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is the month of May 2018, and the month of May has the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. So, this is going to be a very productive, wonderful month for you guys. Okay. Month of May has the energy vibration of the um, Empress. With the energy vibration of the Empress, what we have. Um, coming in this month is that we have a situation where we are dealing with certain aspects and certain situations in our life. It is as if it's the end of a karmatic situation that is going to be coming in for some of you. Um, the month of May has two energies. Um, the two first weeks, the two first weeks, we have the energy of the heart. And as we look in the second week, the third week, going on to um, the fourth and fifth week, we have the energy of hair. So, as we move forward and we're looking at certain situation and certain aspect of this month, there is a lot of situation that is going to be transpiring because we are seeing here the energy of a lot of changes that is coming in and this is going to be good. Um, you're leaving the month of April. There's going to be help coming in in the month of April and this is going to be good. As we look forward, we are going to see what is happening with the energy of the sun, the sun people, what is going to be coming in for the sun people. And we have the energy of Venus um, that is coming in for the sun people. And then we have the energy of the Aquarians, okay? The energy of Venus and the energy of the Aquarius. And then as we look at the moon people, let's see what is coming in. In April, for the moon people, we have Uranus, so that's good. And then we have the energy of the Cancers, so this is wonderful. So we're going to take a look at this month and see what is transpiring. In the first week, there is a new start. There is a wonderful new start. There is justice. There is conflict that you're leaving the month of April with conflicts, but you're coming in this month because it's a karmatic month where you're dealing with karmatic situations and the energy of conflicts that you're leaving in the month of April. So in the month of April, there was justice and there is some conflicts that has been occurring in the month of um, April that you're leaving and starting this new month of May. It's going to be a wonderful situation, especially for um, the men. The women need to take rest. There is a form and a consideration of rest. And this is going to affect the sun sign people. So if uh, um, you are having a situation with your relationship, um, there could be conflicts with your partner and that sort of a situation in a relationship. Okay, there is going to be intensive conflicts if you have uh, and you are in relationship with Aquarians people. Um, there is going to be intensive situation that is happening in the second week. There is a new start. This is wonderful because you have the Ace of Wands, which is a wonderful energy. Ace of Wands is a new start, new starts in your life, new starts in a situation, new starts are coming in for a lot of people, especially in the second week. This is going to affect both the moon the, um, sign people and the sun sign people. Um, the connection with the first week going in the second week with this new start, you need to find rest and inner peace because this is what is going to be transpiring for you. Rest and inner peace is going to be one of the situation that is going to be happening and it's going to affect uh, most of the sun sign Aquaria, um, um, sun sign um, um, Sagittarians okay as we look at the second week going in the third week the nine of Pentacles accomplishment okay so this is going to be good so let's say that you had a situation with to deal with an cancer um, the energy of Uranus is coming to remove this person or this cancerous situation out of your life. So it could be um, people who um, are dealing with the sickness of cancer. There is a new start. I'm seeing the energy of an um, hospital and that sort of a thing that there is a healing that is going to be coming in. So whatever the situation is, whatever that has been transpiring, there's a new healing that is coming in and this is going to be good. So as we look at the situation, we are trying to move forward in a 
certain situation and certain um, aspect of the situation you are going to be seen an accomplishment this accomplishment is going to bring you financial stability and this is going to be good so this new start is going to bring you accomplishment and with these accomplishments is going to give you um, a new financial stability in your life as we look at the fourth week the fourth week you have conflicts and the conflicts that is coming in in the fourth week is if you are married or if you're in a relationship there is going to be conflicts okay these conflicts you have to deal with um, it's, it's going to be in love and you have to deal with um, the Aquarians it can also be the Gemini's or the Librans okay and because the energy of justice is here and there are conflicts so whatever the situation is it's going to be very intensive if you are married or if you're in a long-term relationship there is going to be a co um, conflicts and there is going to be an intensity of things that is happening help is coming in um, this is supporting the energy of the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune is actually bringing you the nine of Pentacles which is very good financial stability especially um, in the, the second week going in the third week as we look at the fifth week we have a situation with the ten of cups the ten of cups is a family situation so whatever this family situation is it has to do with um, an organization or institute and this organization or institutes it could be providing you with the financial support and help that you need which is um, wonderful um, let's say if you have a situation at an hospital or that sort of a thing help is going to be coming in for you and this is going to be a very very positive as we look and we see there is obviously um, a situation that is going to be a, a car in um in the fort and 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 um, whatever the situation is that there was a lot of lies that has been told and now the truth of the matter is coming out because we are seeing here the truth of the matter is coming out and we have the energy of the magician and intensity so for the Sun people there is going to be a lot of intensity in your life there's going to be a lot of situation that you have to deal with especially the men there is going to be a lot of intensity especially in relationship with the Aquarians for the rest of the people it's going to be good it's going to be okay but when we look at the moon people there is going to be a lot of accomplishment it's as if um, the energy of your enemies or in the reverse form and the universal guides and angels or or coming in and bringing the energy of the magician to end whatever this conflict was whatever the lies that has been told it is now in the open and the truth is open and then you are going to receive a um, help to bring a financial stability in your life okay so this is going to be good whatever the lies and whatever things that was going on without you even knowing what was going on this is coming to an end and this is going to be positive so the sun sign people there is going to be an intensity in this in, in this month for you guys especially in relationship because Venus is here and some of you are starting a new relationship but there is a lot of intensity in this new relationship okay it is a relationship that is coming from a past life but it's it's a very intense relationship that is going to be coming in your life okay for the moon people what is happening because for a lot of people there is going to be it's as if this is going to be a lucky month because the energy of the six of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune is here and it's going to bring you a new start for the people who were born in the night um, whatever the situation that you have been dealing with with a cancer person it is now coming to an end whatever lies whatever that was told it is now coming to an end and now there is um, accomplishment that you're going to be receiving and financial abundancy okay and you start in and business um, or um, work is going to be coming in for you and um, it is going to be a positive new start because this is going to bring a lot of positive situations in your life energy of the magician are here with the energy of the moon listen to your intuition listen to your intuition about situation that has to do mo with money because um, some people won't are not being very honest and that sort of a thing um, if you're dealing with a cancer person in your life um, the energy of Uranus um, is going to come in and release you from the situation there's not a lot of positive and honesty that is going on in family situation 
you're trying to have a new start but yet still there are dishonesty um, that is coming in um, in the family is as if um, there was a lot of dishonesty that um, um, that taken place and now you're trying to balance out this dishonesty and you're seeing that accomplishment whatever the situation is that you're going to be um, your financial situation is going to be balanced out and whatever that is happening and transpiring this is going to be coming out in a positive way so not to worry about this so I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back it seems to be a, a, a lucky month for you guys so um, enjoy your month and we will speak next time you will see me on camera but this deck is positive and we needed to show the energy of this deck namaste until next time